Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for. Ever since the frickin' Odyssey was announced. Ever since skins were a thing. Ever since the dawn of human civilization. You've been waiting, developing, evolving to transform as Thor. In the Ragnarok Force X Thor skin, which is here, damn it! It's here today. I'm hype. I'm hype, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Ray Day Gaming. I thought I'd just add a little bit of a, um, an epic intro for today. Because it's an epic skin, guys. This means I have purchased... That's right. Say goodbye to my wallet. My bank account. I'm just kidding. It wasn't too bad this year, but still. A lot of money spent on wards and and icons and avatars oh dear god i just every time they ask me for the 250 gems for a freaking jungle gnome ward no that was 300 gems are you kidding me are you kidding anyways anyways enough of that we're playing thor baby i'm having a blast i'm so excited about this he is the best, man. I've had a lot of fun playing Thor, and I gotta tell you, this journey has been really interesting. I'm very excited to show you off the skin today in an arena match with my Rainstorm clan, but I'm more excited to talk to you about the journey getting here and um, show you, obviously, a lot of fun gameplay, but really just how it feels now to kind of be complete with the Odyssey, and, and I think it was a great one, guys. I think they released a lot of fantastic skins. You know, some highlights for me are definitely uh, the last skin they released, the Kepri skin, uh, which I would hope to get a video on for that. Um, the Ravon skins for me were really great. I really love those. Um, I think the Idusa was a nice skin. I love the concept of that skin as well. Um, so I thought that was really strong. Um, and I did really like the Kukul Khan skin. That was actually one of my favorites as well. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, he's going to have to come back here in a second. And I'm just waiting for the th stun here. I didn't do too much. I didn't want to take too much damage. But I did just want to... Uh, Oh no, he took he took a little too much there. See, I'm just trying to I'm trying to bait, but you know my team doesn't necessarily know that. Waiting for the stun, the 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 Volk, um, who is that? The Zing John is not in a good spot. If he gets stunned again, which he could very well. Oh, we're getting him. We got him. There we go, baby. That's what we're talking about. That's all we needed. I got the first blood. I got a lot of money for that one. So I'm gonna get some boots, and I'm gonna get onto my. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get onto my mail of renewal. An ally will be remembered. Oh, God. That means we didn't do well in that exact encounter. Who died? Hades? Okay, yeah. Hades died. But we got a pretty interesting team composition. But, guys, I really thought it was a good Odyssey. I thought they, they did a good job. And I think they're doing better and better with all of these skins. I just, I'm very excited about um, the prospect of all these skins and everything that, that it means and, and everything going forward uh, with Smite. That's, I think, my most entertaining thing. Now, the thing is, if Zingchon actually picks us up in his ult, uh, we are going to be screwed. Uh, we are really going to be screwed. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Oh, my. Oh, my. The dunks. The dunkity dunks. There we go. So, who rooted me? Did anyone root me? Oh, it was the it was the Zingtian root, I think. Let's get this girl. Come on. She doesn't have her jump up. I know she don't. I know she don't. Hades going ham. Nope. Let's get out of here. Use my last bit of mana now. One of the things I would have shown you guys that I think is really important when you're looking at playing um, assassins or characters that just don't have a lot of health and you can't, you have to be very careful about your mana usage. As you saw there, I threw my hammer, but really after that, I was out of mana. I thought I had a little bit more, and I was thinking about throwing it offensively at the Jibalanke, but um, it turned out that uh, I didn't. And so if I would have done that, I would have just been backpedaling into nothing. And if he would have had his dash, he did have his dash up, he would have been able to catch up with me, and I had nothing to do at that point. I was just a sitting duck, man. This is like the fifth time you're going to get hit with that, even though I am not double tapping very well in this game. Uh, and it's the Thor highlight. Wow, why not? But at least you guys are seeing some crazy cool plays. That was really fun. My friends tell me that they've gone 17 out of 19 games winning with Ravon and um, Guan Yu together. And I think if you just coordinate your ultimates here, it's going to be pretty hard. He, oh, I double tap, but it did not work. The Shibalake ultimate comes out, putting me in the darkness, and now they uh, they throw some random ultimates out, and um, uh, 
Let me go ahead and grab a little bit more mana so I can stay in this entire engagement. The ultimate is ready, but I did I did want to be there so we could smash on him as well. Only one person has beads. So that means uh, pretty much anyone caught in this stuff is going to go really, really down here. So it's going to be nice. I'm very excited about this. Let's see what we can put together. Ooh, this is like, this is like, this is definitely must be Christmas. This definitely must be Christmas if we're going to land this ult again. Ooh, waste the stellar burst. Come on, girl. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Here we go. It's time. It's time. Give me that. That's what I want. Oh, nice zing. That should come back and take care of him. The Bastet is behind us. The cats are out. The silence is out as well. She's the only one here. She's jumping around. There's not much she could do. I Oh, I don't get the stun, and that's unfortunate. But we do. We probably could take out this Zing Shan if I wanted to push front line, but I do not want to do that right now. I have a full male renewal, so that's why I have so much health. Even though I took a little bit of damage there, I did get that proc for killing and getting an assist in that. Uh, I might have just gotten the kill, or I might have just gotten the assist, whatever it is. Uh... So it's, it's on both. So now what I do in this build is I grab um, Hide of the Urchin, which you wouldn't see a lot. Um, if you're ahead, you can grab Jotun's Wrath prior to that. But I just love, when I'm being ahead, I love being unkillable. That's what I really love. I love being able to stay in the fight. I think Thor's abilities really make him um, a dangerous threat. If you guys don't know anything about Thor, this is your first time, you're, you're excited about the skin, you just want to look at him. Here are his abilities. I can walk you through them, I'm assuming that you know about them if you're into the skin. But if not, you know we can, we can definitely talk about them pretty much Thor's got a passive that whoever is is close by to Thor gives him extra physical power up to three gods so pretty much Thor's gonna be getting some extra physical power when he's in the thick of thing oh I think I stunned him I did I did stun him there stellar burst from the soul comes out the Jibalanki stun does happen here um, the Guan Yu goes up I'm going up as well looks like we're going onto the Jibalanki oh Oh, see, that was bad. That was bad. Thank you. Thank you. We'll turn that around. Thank you, MX, for that. Let me help you with these cats, man. There's a nice heal by him. That was a big heal. Um, that's a very important heal as well. Uh-oh. Check this, check this, check this, check this, check this. Oh, no. <laughs> Not much going on, baby. It's just you could see it happening. It's what happens when you reach and you're and you're uh, you're you're behind. You have to kind of sometimes make plays like that because you're like, I cannot let these guys get away. Well, if I if someone gets away from me one more time in this game, I swear I'm gonna lose it. That's how people be going. I'd be I'd be like throwing controllers, jumping around. You know, you, you think you know you think something really bad happened to me. If you hear all that going on, we get the stun going on here, and uh, the the uh, Jing Chan is here. We're just gonna blow him up. We got the silence. Avian goes ahead and takes him out. Uh, the soul is there. We do not get the buff, however, which is uh, well. I guess nothing was worth it then if we didn't get a damage buff. No, we got it. I'll give that to Nox. We'll head back. You guys seen the the uh, thing in action? Now, the thing is, because I haven't died, I've stayed in this form the entire time, which is really cool. Um, and that is one of the things that you'll notice. He's a transforming. Um, ultimate skin so it's it's not a skin where you like archon thanatos you evolve you actually transform and stay in the skin until you die so if you were actually able to do this the entire game this is what you'd look like this is kind of how you play after you ulted you know for the first time um which if you're a good thor this is going to be what you see now a lot of people said it was be really bulky hard to see i'm not sure that's the case i don't know if i really think that um i actually think that um i'm actually going to save my ultimate this time Um, because I want to go for, like, a counter ult here. Like, oh, wow, I missed, though. Let's get a little bit of damage in there. You see the huge damage. It just, ooh, soul did hit me. Where's she coming from? There we go. The Zing might have a couple dashes to catch up with me. But I think the Nox Silence helped me out, stay alive there. And we ended up taking out the Apollo as well, the person I was trying to take out. So my team doing a great job of protecting me. Uh, Thor is a great frontline character, a great dis uh, disruption character. That's one of the things I really have got to love about him. And I got to say that this skin, because you guys are watching this and obviously probably interested in the skin and what it looks like and how it plays, I would definitely say that picking up this skin for me, deciding to get this skin... 
um, because of the Odyssey release, actually made me want to play Thor more. You know what I mean? Like, people said, no, 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 don't do that, man. Uh, the Kawhi Bastet, you know, skin made me want to play that. But, I mean, this is different. This is this is an epic thing. This is a little bit of my first collector's item I think I've ever gotten. I'm not a big collector guy. I didn't collect comic books. I probably wasn't old enough. My, my uncles did and stuff, but I didn't do that. You know, I wasn't into that. I wasn't into collecting things just to collect them. I was into, like, having things. And so, for me, it was always really interesting, um, you know, seeing people do that and not having any interest. And this is the first time that I've kind of been like, oh, damn, wait, this is pretty dope to be able to have, like, this one, you know, thing that pretty much a lot of people won't have. Now, I think a lot of people have this one more so than you'll see people who had um, the last one, um, the Archon Thanatos, because I think this is, they did the Odyssey right this year. It was really about 75 bucks. Could have been less if you had uh, taken advantage of the Thanksgiving specials. Um, it's, it's, it's expensive, but it's not out of this world. Like, it's not like, okay, there is no way I'm gonna spend that on a video. It's kind of like buying another video game, but you get a lot of, you know, adaptations to this video game, which if you play a lot, uh, could be a very, very big deal. Now the stun comes down. I see the soul going on over here. Ooh. And I got double stun. So I guess that doesn't really matter. Hammer doesn't do much. Oh, I end up getting that kill. Fantastic. Let's see what we can do here. And it comes back. We get the double. Fantastic, sir. Exactly what we needed there. And now they're still fighting. I might tell Edo to retreat. I'm, I'm going to stay here just because I want to posture against the Bastet, right? I don't I don't really want to fight her. But again, one of the things I'm saying, when you start learning that you're playing with a team, when it starts being not about you and your solo queue, like normally in solo queue, what would you guys do? Turn around. You're done, right? You're out, right? You see what I'm saying? Damn it. I didn't... Uh... <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, double tap again this week. But what would you guys normally do? You probably would probably just turn around and run back. And getting out of that mentality, starting to play with clans, mates, and people more, which I highly recommend joining a clan. Our clan is still recruiting, uh, but again, it's applications now. So it's not really about numbers. I'm literally looking more for quality, more for active members, people who want to play Smite and want to like be involved in something and, and, and hang out with people. You know what I mean? This is just for my movement speed. Uh, because we don't have a hunter, I didn't need to uh, really pick this up. Um, I didn't need to like save this for you know a specific hunter. Robon would have been a good character to, to give it on for sure. Uh, I missed everything right there. That's looking like poor Thor gameplay. Okay, he's going ulting. We're gonna ult as well. Ow! gonna use her three for sure I'm actually gonna see if I can hit zing did she use her three over that's what I'm curious about I wonder if she used her three I might be able to kill her if I can hit her just gonna pretend here let's see the effect look see what happens when you hit these minions too you just they fly away it's pretty cool I'm only swinging this fast because the attack speed buff as well I don't think we really should retreat here yeah, I forced him to go back there. That's fine. All right, so we're going to... And she jumps on back. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very, very funny. Ooh, thank you, Guan. I think I should get that kill. And there you go. Again, just super, super hyper aggressive. Now, I'm not in the best spot. I'm going to be a, a target someone's trying to go for, for sure. Uh, last time I played this 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 skin, this is the second time I played this skin, guys. It's not the first time. The first game uh, didn't go as planned. Um, I don't think you want to see, like, uh, the new Tier 5 Thor skin, like, go, like, 4 and 6 or some shit. <laughs> I didn't think that was, like, the vibe. Yeah, let me get hyped for the skin. You know, let me get... Oh, dang, he's dying a lot. Oh, oh wow. They're, they're losing back. No, it was an interesting game, but we lost, and I, I died a little bit. And we, just, we just didn't have our thing together. So we needed a game to get our thing together. I'm going to go, like, with some more damage to excite you guys. So I'm going to go for, like, actually... I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for Deathbringer, just because I wanna. I wanna bring some death. You know, what I'm saying, guys, I'm six and zero. Oh, I wanna go a little harder here. Um, but yeah, you know, just finishing my statements. I think it's been an awesome journey. I think it's really cool actually finding that this skin for some reason made a difference to me um, to to learn Thor rather than the Bastet and stuff like that. And and when I actually did pick up Bastet, I really did enjoy her. But the interesting aspect about it was that um you know i just didn't i didn't find a need i wasn't like excited about all this as i go up into the air go ahead and land 
on nobody because she's dead that fast. Holy moly. Let's go ahead on this Zing here. You know, we got sometimes you gotta focus the, the, the guardian if he's just around. You know, you don't want to. I know I know you don't really want to, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Let's see if we can help with cats. Oh yeah. That's a dead Jibalonky. Surprise Hades got that. That's good for him. Uh oh. We're gonna have some dead teammates here potentially. Oh, but the stun though. I'm gonna block this. I block it for my teammates, and that's how you do it. Oh god. Oh, oh. H have you guys been there where you're trying to get that kill, and then all of a sudden they stun you out? You can't do anything. That is just the worst, ain't it? Oh, she's so dead. But I am not hitting that double tap. It's really annoying. But we're gonna kill her here, which is great. I do not get the kill. No, no. No! <laughs> we get the kills for it, though, guys. Jubilanke goes down. Soul goes down. Looks like the Apollo may go down as well. The Nox is right behind him, and that could be the end of that Apollo. So I, I, it was worth it. I just I was being very selfish there thinking about my, my score, you know. But it's okay. It's okay. We've got, uh, again, a lot of tankiness. And, and one of the things with this build, it will make you think you could live through anything. So be careful about that when you do use it. Ooh, get that theme music popping, huh? Oh, if we only had the knock silence, man. Look at how much damage I just took, man. I'm probably going to take probably more damage than... I would anticipate I would be taking maybe more damage than anyone else in this game at this point. Because I'm just in the thick of things, man. I'm in the thick of things. I'm standing here being a little bit bait, even though I don't necessarily need to. You don't necessarily need to do that, guys. We could be... Let's play safe. Let's play safe. You know what I'm saying? For the video. For the video's sake, dang it. Uh, guys, I've been gone, and you know what? I don't know if I'll have any videos out in the next couple of days. I want to. Don't get me wrong. I want to. But it's the holidays, guys. One of the things I want to tell you is when you're having a happy holidays, never give up, never stop gaming, all that good stuff, you got to make sure that um, you're spending time with your family, you're enjoying your life outside of gaming because gaming is gaming to me is just having fun. I mean, that's to me what life is. It's a reminder to uh, continue being persistent and following your dreams and then also really to – Really to just continue enjoying life and doing things that bring you happiness and joy. To me, that's the main thing. So, there we go. Oh my god. The male of renewal proc saving my life. Look at that. Yippee kaye. Woohoo! So that was awesome. That was great, you know, and that's what happens when you have a team that you know supports you. You you support them, you know you support you. And and those are the little things that really help, um, I think, make games so much more enjoyable and so much more fun. But again, guys, outside of this is a whole world that you guys are living in. And sometimes I get caught up in this world as well. I got to tell you, I love this game so much. I love uh, the people and the friends I've made on this game. It's really easy to just, you know, re not realize that my sister's visiting in town and, you know, to visit her or hang with my family and watch a movie with my mom. I mean, it's really, it's really simple to not do those things. Um, so I have to remind myself, and in a way, never give up, never stop gaming, is just to, to say that not even in the video game world, but in life, you know, don't stop having fun with the people you love, with people you care about. Keep enjoying, you know, your experience in this world and trying to make the most of it, you know, and, and having that light attitude. Even though you're persisting, even though you may be having stuff go on, who doesn't have stuff go on, guys? You know what I mean? Who doesn't have stuff go on? But even though you may not be exactly where you want to be, keep going, man. Keep going. You know, that's where the, the biggest, most amazing things happen. It's when, you know, you don't think they can happen or when they don't look like they're going to happen. And then all of a sudden you get that glimmer of hope and that changes everything. And that's, that's to me what I think is um, an important thing to remember this holiday season. Uh, you know, because, you know, we all have our own issues, guys. Everything, everything is, is relative. And I understand that you guys are dealing with stuff and it's different than what I'm dealing with. And I'm dealing with stuff different than what you're dealing with. You know, and so you gotta just remember that and stay positive and understand that yes, keep staying persistent, never give up on your dreams or yourself, um, and, and, and enjoy your time. I'm gonna tell you, enemies behind us. Wow, she's really trolling, isn't she? I would have loved to kill that. I would have loved to kill her. That would have been really fun. Ultimate is ready. Oh. Ooh. Getting a little bit of crit. 
Anticipated that jump. That's nice. Ooh. He's too fast. I couldn't have caught him. His movement speed increase from that was too much. But me and Guan Yu holding it down, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this skin video. Uh, I'm saying enemies behind us right here. I'm basically going to go ahead and get this kill. You don't worry about that. Trying to sidestep me. Oh, man. I really tried to get that one. That's too funny. That's too bad, you know, when you see people doing that because, uh, it's again, that's that mentality that I think you don't learn much from, guys. You know, when you go ahead and you give up and you just, uh, you just, you know, throw yourself off the roof or whatever, you just don't give yourself any opportunity to learn from difficult situations, especially in Smite. I mean, Smite, it's, it's a microcosm for the world, man. You know, you can, you can learn, you can learn so much from this game and you can learn so much from treating your life as a game not necessarily a series of failures but you're progressing as a person like a character and all these things that are coming at you are just you being able to go ahead and look at life and say okay I need to learn this I need to level up this ability in my life and I need to level up this awareness in my life and I need to level up my communication skills rather than your you know attack speed you know what I mean and and your you know forethought your planning there's a lot of um, there's a lot of missed opportunities when you kind of just throw yourself into a fountain, uh, so to speak, if you've ever seen Les Miserables or if you were watching uh, Bastet there. And I will report that because that was just so blatant. Uh, that can't be fun to play with, you know, and you want to encourage Smite being a fun place. Obviously, I want to encourage Rain Day Gaming being a fun place for everyone to be and to enjoy themselves and support themselves and, and everyone else in having a good time learning through those difficult times. Remember, if you ever need a hand, you're going to find it here. There may be a lot of players that tell you to uninstall after uh, you have a bad game, but here you're going to have respect, you're going to have your questions answered, and you're going to get advice so that you know exactly what you need to do to get yourself better and on to the next step, guys. If you enjoyed this video, let's look at this damage taken real quick. All right, I was almost there. I was almost there. Guan you kind of beat me, and so did Robin, but... Guys, thanks so much. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, share, a comment, and a subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more of stuff like this and you want to support me, it is the holidays. I would love to appreciate uh, another sub from you. And if you do sub, let me know. I love hearing from you guys why you subbed, if you subbed. Um, it's great to hear and interact with you as I try to answer every single comment uh, that comes my way. Thanks so much, guys. As always, my name is Rain Day. Hope you enjoyed this Tier 5 Ragnarok Force X Thor gameplay. And as always, never give up, never stop gaming. And I will see you guys next time.